Welcome to Ham Shack Reviews. My name is Vince, and today I'm going to do a quick video on the multifunction knobs on the K4, these three knobs, as well as this section down here. So this whole area in red we're going to go over today. Let's hop over to the radio. Okay, now there's two ways to control these. One, you can use the button and click it to move up and down, and then you can tap it to change the control. Or you can use the mouse and click it and use the wheel to change the settings. Now starting with the top, if you're in CW, you'll get the words per minute and you'll get the pitch of the tone. If you happen to be in sideband, you will get the mic gain and you will get the compressor level. Moving down to the next one, which is still the top knob, you will get the delay or you will get your output power, which is adjustable by the knob or by the mouse. Now on this top button, if you hold it in, it will also bring up the monitor level and you could turn it up or turn it down. On CW you can hear your side tone and on voice it'll actually feed back if you don't have headphones on. Moving down to the next one you have your bandwidth and you have your high control which you can adjust your the side of your bandwidth either the high side or the low side. You'll see right here I'm adjusting the left side which is the high side. Then on this one you have the low side, which you'll see is bringing it in like this, or back out. And you have the shift, which also brings the whole thing over without changing the size. Moving down to the next one, shouldn't be on negative three. You have the main RF control, and if you click it, you have the main squatch control. And if you move down to the next one, you have the sub-receiver RF control, and you have the sub-receiver squatch control. Moving down into this section, it gives you some choices of data you can watch. If you click it, You'll see on the screen here, it brings up your choices. You can have the date and the time, with ID and the time. You can have your TX parameters. You can have your signal level. And you can have your time and TX. I like to have my voltage here so I can watch my voltage. Down below here is the built-in menu, which is a nice feature because you can very quickly look up something you want to look up then you can click it and it will bring up exactly what you're looking for and it's a quick way to navigate through the radio controls and learn how to use a control and last but not least this knob over here you have your AF gain which is the volume control for both the main and the sub receiver hopefully you found this helpful please remember to subscribe ding that bell 73